area. So I almost feel like that was more of a, a tourist trip and not a photographer. And I would love to go back and see it with photography eyes. But on the same sense, um, since we've come back, So I've just pulled over because I've seen this road is absolutely littered with some stunning oak trees. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you, sh you can see, but there's a faint one in the distance. And dare I say it, <laughs> the fog is too thick. Um, but I just had to pull over and just see it. I I'm, I'm aim my aim is to go into the woods. Um, you can tell by my voice, I'm very excited. Um, how often do you get missed fog like this at a weekend when I can actually go out and shoot and not have uh, <clears throat> any time restraints as such. So it's nice just to um, come out. And I'm by Tottenham House. Um, I'm go I've gone over to sort of the other side of Savanac Forest and it's just so peaceful here. Um, the, the normal side of Savannah where I normally go, yeah, you're right next to the road and I just felt like with the mist and fog, this side needed, it just, it just it's more soothing. Um, puts me in a better frame of mind for shooting images um, as well when it's nice and quiet. So what I thought I'd do is just frame this image up and to see if it works. I'm basically just going to isolate that, that, that beautifully shaped tree, oak tree down there. And it's just shrouded in real thick fog. And my gut feeling is it's too thick, but I just have to do it. So here we go. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. It's a lovely shot, but it is too thick. I'll put the image up on the screen now so you can see what I mean. It's, this fog's too thick, but maybe on the way back. Maybe on the way back. Right, let's get in them woods because I want to take full advantage of these beautiful conditions. Wow, what is up YouTubers? I'm in one of my local woods. Um, and as you can see behind me, if I just step out of frame, there is some fantastic looking trees here. Um, yeah, trying to photograph them is, it's quite hard with the brambles in this section of woods. Um, I wasn't actually intending on coming here. Um, this was something I've seen, the road is literally just, just there. And uh, I've seen this tree sort of all gnarled, gnarled up and arced over and just thought I'm going to have to have to stop and investigate. And so I am on my way into the main section, well the other side of the section of the woods. Yeah, it's so peaceful. All you can hear is drips from the trees and the mist is just softening and dead and everything. It's amazing. Seen some deer, it's so hard to photograph, uh, so hard to video because they hide in the undergrowth and they jump out and scare you and they're gone. So, at least, uh, at least my hands are nice and toasty. Yeah. Little disclaimer um, I have been given these by Valorette to test and to try out, um, but I will be giving them my honest opinion on using them in the next coming the upcoming videos um, but yeah my hands are so toasty and this business this is a game changer now my hands are nice and warm i can still operate my camera but yeah that aside gear aside i'm not sure if this shot's going to work or not i might head back to the car and head into the woods and try and make the most of these wonderful conditions.
I found these absolutely stunning scene. Got a big old oak tree here. Lots of little silver birches dotted about. Got a lovely bronze carpet of sort of dead, overturned uh, ferns, bracken. And this oak tree's got like a lovely green base, planting it to the ground. And it's just stood alone. There is another oak tree. Uh, it's hard for me to show off, if, off this way. In the background, you'll be able to see it. Uh, which is just catching a little bit of light and the light is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what, I don't know what to say really. So I'm just, just shooting this, this scene, ISO 100 F11 and I am underexposing by sort of a stop three quarters just to retain some of the, the detail in the sky. And these Sony cameras, like I don't know if you've watched Paul's, one of Paul's last, Paul Thompson's last videos. He talks about these Sony's still giving you blinkies, even though your histogram says it's fine. The his my histogram shows me I can push it even more to the right. Um, but then when you go to your review and it shows all a high blinking sky, so just got to be mindful of that when I shoot um, woodlands like these. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's quite a straightforward image, if I'm honest. I've took a wider scene and now I've just gone a little bit tighter because I want to, and I might walk around a little bit and just see if, I, if the tree looks better from a different angle. But just absolutely insane. What a place in these conditions. It's gorgeous. Uh, the sun is coming up now. Uh, so I'm hoping that mist is going to hang around. Uh, it's forecast to, but yeah. I'm not going to mess around, I'm going to move on now and see if I can find something else because it's just a pleasure to be in the woods right now. Uh, some of you may notice, well you will notice on the image, I don't know if you can see it on here actually, where am I? There. <laughs> There's a tree. On the base there someone has wrote LC, they wrote their names, I think someone's wrote, uh, it looks to me like a Liverpool football club. Uh, which, is, which, is, which, is, which is great. Um, we just love to see stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm capturing nature and I've got someone's initials in my, uh, written all over the screen, all, all over the tree, but there you go, yeah. Don't do that. Don't write on trees. But anyway, that side, nothing that I can't do with a bit of Photoshop. Um, what a great start, what a great start. And, and as you might have guessed, that last area where I just got from the car was a bit of a bust. I just couldn't get a clean image of that tree, so. Right, let's get going. So I couldn't resist the path, the avenue shot. It's just, it's just begging to be shot. A um, little bit of autumn color, the mist. Shooting F11, focusing on the near tree, it's all just going to fall off. It's just going to be stunning. So yeah, very cliche, very obvious, but also very nice to look at. I might actually get to where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I found another scene. I'm just finding images everywhere at the moment uh, in, 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 in this particular woods. It's just absolutely stunning. There's another image there, which I'll take in a minute. Um, ah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So you can see this big oak here, this big one here. Uh, I've shot a tight image of it, uh, 16 by nine. I'm loving 16, the 16 by nine crop at the moment. It just helps in the woodlands, I think, el eliminate distractions, um, which I really like. I like that uh, that tighter shot. There's a sapling in, right in the way, but I don't think I don't think it, I don't think I mind it um, because it's it's not interfering with the big oak too much. Um, 
and I can sort of frame it, it's sort of bending the right way, sort of bending like that, same as, same as the big oak tree. And then there's two oaks down in the distance which are really gnarly, really interesting to look at. Uh, so that's the reason why we shot that and there's a little bit of light coming up in the top now which is just illuminating all that fog and mist which is still lingering, still nice and thick. You get that, with mist you get that real blue sort of cool feel about the image and then if you get a little bit of light as well, ah, just readers helps um, that sort of two tone, split toning. And then I've taken a wider image because I love this tree here, where is it? I love this gnarly tree on the left it's sort of they're like a frame and then i've what i've done is there's another big tree off to the right and i've sort of cut it off so your eye doesn't drift out of the scene um, you sort of get homed in uh, and and this is an instance when introducing sky uh, does work um, it does help and it is unavoidable um, but with the mist and the, and the light that we're getting here it's just it's just insane. But the, the, the key to it is, for a minute there, when I shot the, shot the avenue, um, I was sort of panicking. I could see the, sun, see the sun coming up, and I was like, oh, I've got to get some more shots. I've got to get, take, take advantage of this mist. But the moment I've stopped this, stopped here, I've found this image, and I've slowed. I've just noticed another one over there. Um, so slow down, take some deep breaths, and really feel the woods, feel the image and you'll find you'll find that things will start to fall into place if you just relax. Uh, but obviously it's being here in the right place at the right time. Wow that was an absolute blast. I absolutely love that and the mist is rolling in and out and it's still rolling in and out. But it is getting a bit thinner um, and obviously that light's kicking up in the air. So I'm wanting to include less and less sky now as the morning progresses. But I think I'm going to end the video there because uh, I've probably already been rambling on. Uh, I get so excited when I'm out in the woods when it's like this. Um, but I think I've got a couple of keepers. I think I've got a couple of keepers. But yeah, just, it's just an amazing place. Uh, what can I say? And the gloves, the Valorette, these are the Markov version 3, I believe. Um, Thank you, Carl and Nebo from Valorette for sending me these. I do have a hatchet, a pair of hatchet gloves in the bag, but they are for more like um, a real sort of wintry, snowy, like colder, colder conditions to these. So but these are perfect. The little fingers, forefinger and the thumb. They've got little magnets on the back. So yeah, just essential piece of kit, really, now that I've used them. Um, I'm always going to be wearing these. Uh, they are, and they're so well made. I know they are. They are a bit expensive, I suppose. Um, but you know, how much money do we spend on on gear? You know, lenses and you know your hands um, are very important. And we spoke to Carl on the podcast. If you haven't um, listened to it, I'll put the description, the link, put the link to the podcast in the description, um, and you can go and listen to Carl and uh, his, st his story and his journey. Uh, it was such an interesting podcast, uh, and what a cool dude as well. Uh, yeah, so thank you to Carl for that. But he was saying in the podcast, like, um, most people just think that, you know, put a pair of gloves on and you stay warm as well. Um, and that's not the case, you know, it's all about getting your core and layering. So you've talked about the whole layering system and how the gloves should work in conjunction with your with your core temperature. Um, so, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, it, it was, yeah, like I said, just a real interesting guy, um, you know, and he's quite young and, and sort of into his outdoor snowboarding. So yeah, he's just a cool dude as well. So yeah, if you haven't checked that out, I'll put the I'll put it down in below. Yeah, so I will be testing these gloves out, and like I said, I've got some hatchets, and uh, and who knows what else will happen, uh, what will come from that. Uh, they're a very very cool company. And also before we go, I know I'm rambling a little bit on now. The leveling head. And the three-legged thing. It is absolutely the mutts nuts. If you haven't pre-ordered one of them, link down below. I don't make any money from these from, from this by the way. It's just I like a product, I'll promote it. Um, yeah, with Nikki with the leveling, the 75mm bowl adapter, it's just it's just transformed my photography. It's just so easy. Uh, nice handles. 
This is brilliant. Uh, it has got a it has got a hook on it as well, but the hook's at home. I hope I ain't lost it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hook's at home. Yeah, this is fantastic. And you are sat on the leveling base, um, the new leveling head that they've made, um, that, which is per perfect for, for doing pano shots, nice smooth level pano shots. So I can set you up, level your base, and then just do some nice move, nice pano shots. So yeah, incredible. So thank you, for, thank you again to Three Legged Things for sending me them. The, um, incredible, brilliant standard and I will be talking a bit more about them in the future as well. You'll see a lot of them in my videos, um, but I haven't had them for very long. I haven't been out many times, so I don't want to go too much into them. But yeah, links all in the description, um, and I make no money from that. It's me just promoting something that really works and I enjoy using. Um, so yeah, right. I've been rambling on. Three-legged thing, Valoric gloves. And if you fancy joining me for a workshop, then head over to photoninjaphotography.com and we'll book you in and we'll have a walk around some of these amazing woods and uh, you never know, I might learn something. <laughs> have a good Sunday and I'll see you next week. Ciao. Thank you.